Morning, folks. We've got eye candy, something to cheer for, and it's time I told a little bit of truth to an organization rotting righteously from the inside out. It's going to feel good. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star at spaceweathernews.com. It was a day of quiet. The quiet is about to end as these active regions are active and turning in. Just yesterday morning, one of the groups blasted a powerful CME off the far side just behind the limb. 2,000 kilometers per second speed clocked, which puts it in the major blast category. Luckily, it is heading almost 180 degrees away from the Earth. More imminently, the solar wind stream from this coronal hole is due over the weekend. It should amplify the seismic situation as well due to its interplanetary magnetic fields. Speaking of, 6.6 .6 offshore Cyprus, and we're lucky it was offshore. Buildings shook enough to scare folks nearby. And we took a 6.7 this morning in the Aleutian Islands. Luckily, no damage expected there. Happy birthday, Cat, CEO of Space Weather News. And dang, you thought I was pretty. That's my wife. Happy birthday, Catherine. Up next, something they only see with their eyes closed. Chandra thinks everything is a black hole. Seriously. They're telling us here about a mini monster black hole, which is an oxymoron. And no, they haven't seen anything remotely close to be able to make that claim. Literally, a pink blot. They spotted an X-ray signature overlapping a galaxy in the sky and claim it must be a mini monster black hole hiding inside. You are seeing everything they saw here. No wonder astronomy is in chaos. One of the ways they'll try to get past that is with Roman, one of a few programs set for the next decade that will see what they didn't see before. And here, it's hopefully a push forward with the lost light of Hubble studies, the one showing there are no islands in space. Everything is connected. Roman, Webb, LSST, Spherix. Astronomy better be about to change for the better. Quick little shot of something cool here. Repeating shock waves hitting a stellar envelope, creating shock fronts. And there's nothing obvious about what's doing it. Yes, they make some guesses, but truly, it is a bit of a mystery what is sending these expanding bubble shocks into the vicinity of Iris 4A. Now yesterday, you got this video instead of the morning news, and there's a very good reason. I got an email late on the 9th from one of my buddies at NASA, and I had to move fast. No, there's nothing challenging about figuring out the sun is weaker right now, but this crew showed it absolutely, and the email was telling me of how concrete this paper would communicate that fact to the field. Ergo, an amplified interest and importance in the continued ionospheric perturbation. Where is it coming from if the sun is weaker? The answer is the weaker magnetic field of Earth, causing the tropical ozone issues and more. Does it seem like I do this a lot? Make a special video only to have a big name paper come out and compliment the underlying concepts a day later? Yeah, those are our friends in high places letting us know what's coming. I guard their identities with my life. My closest friends don't know who they are, but they are in dozens of significant universities. NOAA, National Weather Service, USGS, ESA, and NASA. And yes, NASA, I'm putting you on notice. We're in JPL, Goddard, Ames, Johnson, and your administration. There are observers all over you. You haven't been treating your scientists as well as you should, and some of them are very angry. Your scientists are becoming our scientists. They tell us everything that's coming, like this one a couple days ago. You not taking the temperature of your house, NASA, then you can expect more of this and more of this, the complete ass whooping you took earlier this year. That was nothing. Nothing but inspiration to those in your house already ready to tear it down. They have all been trying honestly for years. They gave you every opportunity to do what's right. Now, it's our turn. And so we cap that off with one of the illuminations of ignorance. How it took this long to functionally express this geophysical energy exchange is baffling, but not quite as baffling as the fact that a bit of misunderstanding caused them to just ignore and neglect it in the models, like it's not happening because they don't understand it. Now goodness, it's becoming clear that like so many of those frauds you watch on TV, these people don't know what they're doing either. Good thing we do. 2022 is the year NASA becomes known for the embarrassing shill house it is. And that sentence, it's not mine. It's a quote to me from someone on this list. We're coming. We greatly appreciate your support. If you'd like to watch the pregame, our demolition of an entire NASA climate team this past year, it is linked below. This year will be much, much worse. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.